Hi and welcome to our next tutorial and this tutorial is for inking edges. You can ink edges with this really cool technique in the full version of Photoshop using inner glow styles. Unfortunately Photoshop Elements does not have that uh, those options uh, but as always there are many ways to do uh, the same thing and so I'm going to share with you two different ways a part one and a part two videos on how to ink edges um, I know if I think hard enough I probably could come up with some more ways and if you know of any ways to do this please do share and maybe I'll do another video and uh, we all can learn together so um, I have this word inked here as a sample but I'm going to make that go away and I have the word school which we're going to go ahead and ink now and let's make a new layer and now I'm going to hold down my control key and click on the thumbnail of the word school in earlier versions of Photoshop you have to click over here in the in the side of the layers palette Let's go to the select drop down menu and I'm going to be using the drop down menu instead of the keyboard shortcuts um, just so that you can follow along. Modify and contract and now this is going to vary um, by personal preference, um, by the look you're going to want to achieve and by the size of your element. Um, you may want you more of that inking a uh, greater distance from the edge and um, if that's the case you're going to want a higher number if you're going to want less inking and just have it really close to the edge you're going to have a lower number um, for my purposes here I've done a 12 and now you can see when I zoom in that my marching ants are now uh, inward they've contracted inward a distance from uh, the edge of my text. So now I'm going to go to the select drop down menu and then feather and this is the same way you can use uh, different feathering values there's no right or way wrong uh, no right or way wrong way <laughs> I couldn't get that out. <clears throat> I have 10 here and uh, you can see it happen but it did uh, feather it and we're going to go to select down drop down menu and then inverse Next I'm going to hit D on my keyboard to make my background color black. Of course I guess you can ink in any color you want. I'm going to do the standard black. I'm going to activate my brush tool and I found some great brushes here that are from uh, the defaults in Photoshop Elements. Um, the Faw Finish brushes and this one right here is a Rolled Rag 60 or there's actually some uh, different versions of the rolled rag and some other um, sea sponge and actually I found some other great brushes uh, in some of these other areas you can just go around and test it there's no right or wrong brush to use uh, it all matters what you're what you're going for the look you're going for and so this one is the one I'm going to use and then I'm going to simply begin oops cancel. I'm on the wrong layer. Make sure you're on your new layer. I'm going to simply begin drawing. Uh, whoops, it doesn't matter if you go way out there. I'm just going to simply draw all around my letters. Now you can see, even if I'm going out here in the middle, it's not, uh, it's not um, applying it to that area because I have inversed my selection and so it's actually all applying out here. However because of that feather you'll notice how it's gradually going in um, uh, into the letter. See how it, it's a little bit inward on the um, other side of the marching ants. I'm actually on both sides of the marching ants. And so what I'm going to do is quickly just draw now. I probably inked that O up a little bit too much. And so you d 
just now don't worry where you go if you if you go way out here it doesn't matter I'm going to show you how to get rid of all that here in a minute we just need to kind of follow around each of the letters and zoom on out so I can do this a little faster without zooming in and out and see it doesn't take a lot of um, intricate close brush work when you do it this way because the um, way we have set up the selection tool keeps you where where you should be just kind of follow those marching ants and you say this looks really ugly right now and I say yes it does <laughs> okay there's my masterpiece doesn't it look great <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and move back to my move tool and hit control D to get rid of those marching ants and now we have beautiful finished product whoops no we don't get my brush tool out I didn't go on the inside edges of oh it would help if I get my brush tool and not my clone tool I, I didn't go on the inside edges of this oh okay hit control D <coughs> now there's one more step to make this actually look hey that actually looks kinda cool I think my boys might like it like that Hmm. <laughs> there. Pretty, pretty grungy, cool. Just kind of like that. I may have to hit the back button and save that. Um. Okay. I. Uh, next. <laughs> now that I'm distracted, we're going to hold down that control key and click on this uh, thumbnail in this the text layer again and this time we're going to go to the select and inverse and we're going to ensure though that we're still on this uh, grungy layer as the active layer and I'm going to hit delete on my keyboard and now all that extra stuff it disappears control D to deselect and now we have some grungy inked up text and that's as simple as it is it really goes by much faster and I really would love to see you inking up some tags or other elements uh, maybe journal boxes uh, and just uploading them and sharing them in uh, the forums or wherever um, so that we can all see what you have to do oh one more thing here I was closing Another thing you can do then after you get this is to maybe do a blending mode of multiply or just run through the blending modes to see what works. Of course, if you want to go ahead and, you know, hit uh, control U and, and change the colors of this and play around with it, you can do that too. <clears throat> but um, I think linear burn might actually look the best. So back to my closing please do share I hope you have fun with this uh, it really spunks up a lot of different things for your layouts you can do it on anything uh, so uh, have fun